Welcome back to Photography with Amy Horn. Today I'm going to demonstrate single water drops. This is my setup for single water drop. Uh, I'll start off with uh, my water tray. It's from the dollar store and I've spray painted the bottom um, black. That way it will minimize reflections. The water dripping kit is just a water bottle with a wicking system. The wicking system is a piece of um, copper with an old rag tied around it. And once it's fully saturated, it wicks really nicely. And then I have two off-camera flashes. The background, which is just a piece of paper taped to um, a piece of plexiglass. And I use this for multiple different um, activities. And then I have a water pitcher so I can constantly keep the water in the water bottle up towards the top so that way it drips more regularly. And then I use rinse aid to help release the water tension that's in the water drip system. Um, of course I keep a ruler around so I can use that for accurate focusing and for measuring and then I always have a towel whenever I'm messing with water. When shooting water drops it's crucial to get focus. So what I like to do, I'll use my ruler or some other object and I'll kind of lay it so that the water drips right onto the corner. And then I can zoom in on focus to the corner of that ruler to fine tune my focus. Whenever I shoot macro, I'm always using um, manual focus because that gives me a lot more control. So once it's focused, I'm ready to go. My camera settings are uh, shutter speed is 1 1 60th, aperture is f11, and ISO is 200. My flashes are set up right now at 1 32nd power. Sometimes that changes slightly depending on ambient light that's in the room. Uh, but right now they're both at 1 32nd power. I do like to use a shutter release and then all I do is just wait to see a drop. So as it gets ready to beat up and drip, then I'll shoot. Using the same setup, now I've changed my background, and the background was created in Photoshop and printed on photo paper. Ideally, I was lining up the water drop with the transition of the red and the white. This next background was also created in Photoshop using the gradient tool and multiple different colors. I also use backgrounds from other images of mine, such as lupin flowers or even just black cardstock. So your options are limitless. So if you really like water drop photography, there are a few other options to get you more advanced images. So our simple um, drip system here, most anyone can create at home. If you're ready for something more elaborate, the MyOps Splash is very reasonably priced and it runs by your cell phone. So your cell phone connects to the computer part of it. It has a water valve and you can do single and um, double water drop collisions. The next step up is uh, what I recommend would be the Cognizus Stop Shot Studio. It allows three valves. It connects to your computers to get very precise um, water drops and water drop collisions. And then it also connects with your flashes. So there's a bunch of different options. If you enjoy water drop photography, check them out. If you're interested in more macro photography projects, feel free to subscribe to my channel, or you can pick up a copy of my Art of Macro Photography book at Amazon.